Good morning, man. NFL 25 Gamers. In today's episode of Plus of the Day, we're going to break down how to send a gap pressure uh, in Madden NFL 25. Now, there's a couple of different things that I wanted to show you today uh, in terms of bringing a gap pressure, but more specifically from the 46 normal. And uh, the play we like to use is the inside blitz out of 46 normal. Now, this play is very good stock. You don't have to make any adjustments to it if you don't if you don't want to. Personally, there are a couple we like to make. But real quick, we'll just show you. If you just come out and, and call hike, you're going to get that A-gap pressure uh, from Adams here in the 46 defense. Now, the cool part about this, this play in general is if they block a running back, you're always going to get a guy free. You see here, the guy comes in off the edge. That guy's actually in a man-to-man -man assignment against the running back. But the cool part about this blitz is if the running back decides he's going to block then this guy, Hayden, will blitz no matter what. So here again, you're always going to get one guy free. It's like a, it's like a spinner blitzing concept uh, from the Nebraska Cornhuskers college football team. Basically, there's a guy that always options the running back. So if the option, if the back, if the back will go out for a pass, then the guy will cover him. If he does not go out for a pass, then the guy will send pressure. So that's the first way I like to run this. The only reason I don't like it this way is it doesn't look the same uh, as all of our other plays in the formation. So what we'd like to do if we want to just send standard uh, A-gap is we're going to base the line, we're going to show blitz, and this is going to give us this, this front here. Now what I like to do uh, with this look is I'm just going to stand in the A-gap with Woodson and then I'm just going to drop out. Remember we do that out of all of our plays. And you see, we're just going to get that heavy right edge pressure. Now, the, the one problem uh, with that is that it's not a gap. Um, so, one thing, one quick adjustment is we could contain Houston if we want. Remember, you don't want to actually send the a gap with Wilson. You just want to kind of get out of there as the snap of the ball. Um, and so here you see again that that not it's not the a gap quite. Um, that's one reason the show blitz work isn't always the best idea. Um, one thing you can do um, is just pinch your line maybe. So if we, if we were to pinch our line, maybe re-blitz this guy and this guy, maybe maybe crash them down or something like so, try to create a lot of congestion in that A-gap, send Woodson down like this, and you see it springs the guy through that, 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 have, that well that wasn't really A-gap, that was B-gap, but you see the idea. But real quick, I mean if you want A-gap pressure, um, just base a line, and that's it. And then what I like to do is I'll just drop Woodson into the A-gap like so, as if I were showing blitz, but I'm actually not. And when we drop out, you see it's going to send a guy free. Now, sometimes he will come off the edge. Um, that's very rare. Typically, it happens more so when I send Woodson, you know, like inside five yards of the A-gap. If I'm like maybe ten yards off, then typically that will come through the A-gap. That time it came through the edge. But there's no way of knowing because the linebackers move. That's the one problem with this play. I will say that. Um, one thing that I like to do out of this is all man line and press coverage. This will always come through the A gap, and that's the cool part about this. And the cool part about this is we like to user control Hayden, and we'll just swing him out to the top. And there you go, A gap pressure out of the 46 mil. So, real quick, let me break that down one more time. We're going to man align, press coverage, do some coverage adjustments if we need to, grab onto Hayden here, and I like to user control him over the top. And you see we get that A-gap pressure that time we got congested, but again, you see the idea of the A-gap pressure coming through the 46 normal. Now, unlike last season, we're not able to create DT nanos from the 46 normal, uh, only sending three guys. We are still able to get that uh, that genuine A-gap pressure coming up the A-gap uh, with that linebacker with pretty good man coverage all across the board, forcing them to block a halfback, and then we can adjust by sending our two-way pressure we discussed yesterday in our Madden Tips uh, Blitz of the Day show. So thank you guys for watching today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you didn't, if you didn't find this tip useful, let me know why. Let me know what I can do to improve it for you next time. And also, guys, be sure if you guys are using the 46 Defensive Playbook to try some of these 46 Normal Blitz of the Day episodes. I really think that this is a very good blitzing scheme out of the 46 Normal. It can be applied to a lot of different formations as well. But specifically the 46 normal, I think it can make you a little bit more effective in the game. If you guys already checked out our 46 scheme of the week I did very early in the Madden season, uh, hopefully you can apply this and add this to your defensive scheme. Thank you for watching this week's Blitz of the Day. Be sure to come back tomorrow for yet another good pressure. Thank you guys so much for your support. See you tomorrow.